Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. The topic for today's video is DC motors. We will cover materials such as the permanent magnet DC motor, the shunt motor, brushless DC motor, and a few others. This video is a continuation in the motor control series. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, I highly recommend watching those before continuing this video. Before we dive into the video, if you are not yet subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Also hit the notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos uploaded. Let's get started. Direct current motors are not as widely used as alternating current motors, but they are, however, used for applications where high torque and variable speeds are required. DC motors contain the commutator, brushes, and armature windings. Because of these components, it makes DC motors more complicated and expensive than AC motors. There are several types of DC motors which are classified by their field type. They are the permanent magnet, series, shut, and compound. Permanent magnet DC motors, PMDCs, use a permanent magnet to create a magnetic field required for the operation of a DC motor. These motors are composed of two parts, the stator, which is the outside housing, and an armature, which consists of coils of wire wound in slots in an iron core and connected to a commutator. The armature is placed inside the magnetic field of the permanent magnet and rotates in the direction of the generated force. The direction of rotation of these motors is determined by the direction of the current flow through the armature. Reversing the polarity of the voltage applied to the armature will reverse the direction of rotation. These motors are used where small DC motors are required and do not require effective control. A few of the applications you can find these in are in windshield wipers, food mixers, drilling machines, and in the toy industry. The series DC motor is a self-excited DC motor. It consists of components like the stator, which houses the field windings, and the rotor carrying the armature conductors and other essential parts like the commutator or brush segments all attached in the proper sequence, just like a generic DC motor. The stator and field windings are connected in series with each other and therefore, the field current and armature current are equal. Due to this, the windings of the series field are made from heavy gauge wire that is large enough to carry the full motor load current. Because of the large diameter of the series windings, the winding will have only a few turns of wire and a very low resistance value. The speed for these motors varies widely between no load and rated load. That means that these motors cannot be used where a constant speed is required with variable loads. These motors are often used in winches, hoists, elevators, and many more. The shunt DC are motors in which the armature and field windings are connected in parallel. Due to the way they are connected, the current in a shunt motor is a split into two parts, current through the armature and current through the field windings. The shunt field winding is made up of many turns of small gauge wire and has a much higher resistance and lower current flow compared to a series DC motor. The field current does not vary with motor speed and therefore the shunt motor will only vary with the current through the armature. These motors can be found in applications where constant speed is desired and high starting torque is not needed, such as in conveyors, spinning machines, centrifugal pumps, and many more. The compound wound DC motor is made up of both the series and shunt field coils which are connected to the armature winding. It obtains the features of both the series and shunt motors and therefore has a good combination of proper speed regulation and high starting torque. Although the motor's starting torque is not as high as in the case of the DC series motor, nor is its speed regulation as good as a shunt DC motor, the overall characteristics fall somewhere in between these two. There are two major types, one being the long shunt compound DC motor and the other, the short compound DC motor. In the case of the long shunt compound DC motor, the shunt field winding is connected in parallel across the series combination of both the series field winding and the armature. For the short shunt compound DC motor, the shunt field winding is connected in parallel across only the armature winding and the series field winding is connected to the supply current as shown. 
These types of motors can be found in applications such as freight elevators, stamping presses, agitator machines, and much more. Brushless DC motor or BLDC motor is an electrically commutated motor which does not contain any brushes and provides high efficiency and excellent controllability. They contain only two parts, the rotor and the stator. The rotor is the rotating part and has rotor magnets whereas the stator is the stationary part and contains the stator windings. Because of their efficiency and longevity, they are widely used in devices that run continuously. These motors are longer lasting, quieter, smaller, and way more efficient. They can be used in appliances such as washing machines, air conditioners, and many more things. This concludes the video on DC motors. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. In the next video, we will be looking at three-phase AC motors. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post daily content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.